good morning from Tempesa, Indonesia. After a few days drinking bintang on the beach, it's time for me to get off this island and head over to Java. Now I had tried to get an advanced bus ticket, but as no one was taking my calls or my messages, and since I wasn't wanting to spend $80 on a private driver, I was left with no choice but to wing it. My first step was to jump in a grab taxi to the Ubang bus station. The grab from Leggy into the station cost me $12 and took about half an hour. Ubaan bus station is where you'll find most services on the island and as I'm about to find out, it took me no time at all to find a bus, even without a ticket. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. Have a good day. The ticket for the bus cost me $8. Now I could have bought it to around six or even less. I was happy to have found my bus and it wasn't worth arguing over $2. It's worth noting that most services in Indonesia only run when there's enough people on board and not to an actual schedule. Meaning you might get lucky, but you might also have to wait for the bus to fill up. Being one of the lucky ones, I was on my way exactly two minutes after jumping out of my taxi. As we made our way out of the capital, we were lucky enough to have the driver play us some tunes, as loud as he possibly could. The bus is a Santa Mini bus, and there was air con that was keeping up just enough. Oh, and the nice driver didn't end up turning the music down. <clears throat> to talk on his phone. All jokes aside, this is all part of the fun of travelling in other places and didn't really affect the journey. The bus is also a local bus of sorts, with locals getting on and off at random spots along the way. The journey time to Gilamanuk took us 4 hours, so it's worth taking some water and a snack along with you. Just outside Gilamanuk, the driver stopped to make sure everyone had paid, before arriving very conveniently at the entrance to the ferry, and a ticket booth. There are many places to get a ticket for the ferry, but since the locals were getting tickets here, I decided to do the same. I just want a ticket to... Java? Yeah. The cost for the ferry over to Java cost me a grand total of 85 cents. Thank you. 
Okay, so it turns out I needed to use my ticket to collect another ticket, which was the proper ticket. But once in hand, I had to pass the little seating area in a shop before the short walk to my ferry. Ferries leave for Ketapeng just like buses, when they're full. And as it turns out, the port's also the local swimming spot. I got lucky with this one too, departing the swimming spot just a few minutes after boarding. Indonesian ferries don't have a good safety record with multiple incidents in the last six months that have left many dead. Having said that, I didn't feel like this was unsafe. It felt just like every other ferry I've been on, apart from the missing no smoking signs. This ferry is mainly a car ferry, and you can see the island of Java just across about a 10 minute ride away. But as ferries don't leave until they're full, we can't arrive until they leave. So the 10 minute journey took around 50 minutes. On board, there's an inside seating area along with a little canteen. And upstairs, you can find a covered outdoor seating area. So we made our way to a dock, an announcement was made and everyone started making their way to the back of the ship. With a little bit of a lost in translation moment, I realised that I'd been blindly following everyone to their cars. Passengers too? Everyone? It showed I was on the right path and a quick game of squeeze through the cars. They lowered the ramp and we were cleared to walk in front of the cars. As we were walking the long road to the exit, I saw some passengers taking the gangway and I was about to realise a mistake I had made. As the route I had taken was made for cars, finding my way out as a pedestrian was not very easy. Taking random paths until eventually coming to an end. Hello! Oh, how do I exit? Exit? Sorry. Okay. This is where it became instantly clear that taking the gangway would have been clearly marked to the exit. Anyway, you live and learn. The total time from leaving my hotel took me exactly 6 hours and the total cost was $20.85. If you're heading straight to the train from here, it's fairly straightforward, with the station just a 5 minute walk the other side of the main road. 
If you want to see more of what the train's like, you need to tune in to next week's video. As always, please remember to like and subscribe, it means a lot. Thanks for watching!